So our friend Wildcoder over on Discord has been doing a lot of work behind the scenes and he has brought us Scum VM to our Legends Ultimate Arcade Cabinet. Now in this video I'm going to talk about the new firmware release for a couple of minutes, but then I'm going to show you guys how to get this up and running. This is Steve from Nostalgia, and let's get started. All right guys, so we got a new firmware release today and uh, I'm just gonna quickly go over the features. Not a huge amount of things have changed, but a couple really awesome features that uh, a lot of people are gonna be excited for. Uh, the first one's not that big of a deal. We've got a new daily quota feature. Essentially, you're just gonna shoot on over to your settings section and this gives you the ability to set a specific time limit. So if you've got a child who wants to play and you wanna say, hey, no more than 30 minutes, you can go ahead and set that enter in your account password and it will allow that person to play for 30 minutes and then lock down the cabinet and then you'll need the password again to open it back up. And the next big thing here is that we actually have five new leaderboard games. So there has been a lot of buzz about the leaderboards. A lot of the community is just trying to best their buddies and try to get to that number one spot. As you guys know, we currently have four games that support this leaderboard feature. We've got Burger Time, Tetris, Fix It, Felix Jr. And we also have Tron. But joining the lineup, we now are going to have Centipede, which is really exciting, Karate Champ, Joe and Mac, Caveman Ninja, Magic Drop 3, and Asteroids. So this is going to open it up. I know a lot of these games are actually fairly competitive, and I can see this being really popular with the community. So definitely big shout out to At Games for this. Other than that, there's not really a whole lot left. Let's go ahead and jump over to my computer so I can show you guys how to get Scum VM running on your cabinet. Okay guys, here we are. So with Scum VM, if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of like an emulator. Uh, it's not 100% like an emulator. It's kind of like a back-end application sort of thing that essentially allows you to play some of the old school point and click adventure games. And uh, it actually is working really, really well with the cabinet. We get to use the trackball as our cursor, and then we get to use the A and the X keys on our control deck to do your left and your right click. Uh, and so far, based on the testing I've done, it's really good. So again, huge, huge, huge shout out to Wild Coder. Incredible work. I am very much looking forward to see what the next project you are working on is. All right, so process is actually pretty simple. First thing that we need to do is make sure that our USB drive is plugged into our computer. And I do have mine right over here. Now, Wild Coder has made this process really, really simple. Now, at this point, unless you're familiar with how to build these custom UCE files, you're just gonna have to use what he's provided, but he is going to be providing more and updating the database as it stands. Now, keep in mind, he is not providing any of the game data that is on you. You will need to source it yourself. Otherwise, it would not be legal to distribute. What he's done is actually given us a couple links and as always they'll be in the description. The first link will take us to a Dropbox area where it will be called ALU Scum VM underscore content. We want that if you followed me on the last video where we got flashback up and running, we created a content folder, he's kind of packaged it all together so it's really simple, just drag and drop on the USB. In order to download that to our desktop, we just have to click here. I'm not going to do that because I've already pre-downloaded it. The next thing that he's bundled in is access to all the UCE files he's already pre-made. Now clearly there are a lot of games and he did not go through and make all of them. He did make a handful and a couple really awesome titles in there. So keep that in mind, he will be adding to this database as time goes on. The link for that is gonna be right over here. It will be called ALU Scum VM underscore add-ons. We are going to download that as well to our desktop. Once those have finished downloading, we are going to minimize our web browser. And as you can see, I've already got my zip files here. You will get the zip files, not the folders. You'll need to right click and you'll need to extract each to its own folder. Once that is done, you will have folders and within those folders is all the stuff that we need. So first I'm gonna grab my USB drive and I'm gonna go ahead and kick it over to the side here. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up our content folder. So we're gonna double click on that and as you can see here, we've actually got another content folder. If you have not done the flashback port install, that's totally fine. The reason he's kind of set this up this way is to prevent issues for people who haven't done it and this is an all-in-one solution. 
Even if you've got a content folder, you can go ahead and grab this and you're just going to drag it onto your USB drive. It's gonna copy all the files over and then we're gonna go inside, I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. So hopping into our content folder now, we've got our ports folder and then inside the ports folder, I have my flashback folder from the previous video but if you didn't do that, you will only have a scum VM folder. And when we open up the scum VM folder, you're gonna notice that there are folders for a ton of games in here. All of these games are our scum VM games. Keeping in mind, if you open up any particular folder, it's empty. This folder is where you're going to put the game content. So keep that in mind, you're going to need the UCE, and then you're also going to need to put the game data in this folder. So we're gonna come back to this in a minute, but if we go back all the way to the root of our USB drive, the next thing that we have to do is go ahead and close this content feature, and we're gonna open up this ALU scum VM add-ons folder. And I'm gonna kick that over here. And as you can see, he's created a scum VM folder. And if we open up that folder, all the UCEs that he's created are in here. Now we've got about 35, 36 different games that are prepped. And as I said, he's going to be uh, working on this and including more games down the road. But uh, this is a really good start. We've got some awesome games in here like Police Quest. We've got Day of the Tentacle. We've got Full Throttle. Those are some really, really popular games here. In order to get that moved over, what we want to do on our USB drive is go ahead and open up a new folder and we're going to label it Scum VM. And then inside of this folder, we're just gonna drag and drop any of the games that we want to load on. For the purposes of this video, I'm simply just gonna do Day of the Tentacle and Full Throttle. So we're gonna dump those on over. Beautiful. Now, as I mentioned, we need to load up the game data. Now, I've already got the game data, and if you don't, you'll need to source it either via the CD and pull the information directly off that, or by some other means, which I can't help you with but this stuff is readily available through a Google search, so I'm sure you guys can figure that out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and close this UCE add-on folder, and I'm gonna go grab my game data information. So I've got my games over here. The first thing I'm gonna do is grab my Day of the Tentacle game data, which is right over here. Again, we need to go to the root of our drive, inside content, inside ports, inside scum vm and then we need to locate day of the tentacle so if we scroll down to the d section we've got day of the tentacle we're going to go ahead and grab those files and just drop them in beautiful so that's done now depending on how big the game is it's going to take a little bit longer to transfer to your drive but just be patient when it's done you're good to move on to the next title so we're going to go ahead and go back and again we want to go to full throttle so we got to go to the f section and full throttles right here we're going to double click on that and i need to locate my full throttle game data which is right over here so as you can see i've got my data folder video folder and a couple of the other files here we're just going to drag and drop those directly into this folder as well all right so you guys would rinse and repeat this for any other games that you want Keep in mind, you can't just load up the game data into these folders. You need a corresponding UCE file in order to get the games to launch. But that's more or less it. Let's go ahead and jump onto our cabinet and check out these games. Okay, so here we are on the cabinet. We need to go over to our BYOG section with our USB drive popped in and wait for our add-ons feature to be enabled. Once it is, we're gonna go ahead and click on that and wait for everything to load. And as you guys can see along the left-hand side of the screen, we now have a scum VM folder, which we can access our games. And once you click on it, you'll see that the artwork for the games is there, the titles are there, everything's ready to go. So all that's really left is to go ahead and give them a shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into these games and give you guys a little bit of footage to see how well they work. And then we're gonna wrap this up. So let's go ahead and jump into the first game. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> like I could. Take on the, the world. I don't have time for idle chit chat now. I have work to do. I hope no one's watching. 
I look so goofy on video. Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. It closed. I, uh, fixed your door. It was sticky. Look, I don't want no trouble. Just leave me out of this mess. You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. <laughs> Now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. They told me to stall you as long as possible. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh... Someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. They didn't do too good of a job there. But why ambush the polecats? I'd better get moving. Okay guys, and that is pretty much it. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down if you did not like it. Let me know in the comment section below if there's any specific ScumVM games that you guys want to see ported over, and I'll see if I can get Wildcoder to create those UCE files and get them uploaded for you. But that's pretty much it. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you guys again real soon.